The Void Seeker has a thousand anti-air DPS. What the fuck? Zerto lied. Why are you here? He did see her again. Oh yeah, look at that. The captive Templar, our captive you can literally just it it does have <laughs> two thousand DPS. Good job, guys. You did it. Ask me anything. What's the meaning of life? Um. Ow! Meaning of life is to enjoy it. Did you see that? I blinked my stalker and it died way over here. It must have been perfectly timed. I gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, go, go. Thank you for volunteering, stalker. I appreciate you. I think that was huge. That was all of them. That is exactly what I needed to do. Um, we're going to get all of my units. We're going to get this pylon so we have a forward operating base. Break it, 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 break it. Unfortunate. Hey, Zerg. I need help again. I didn't, I didn't do it right the first time. I didn't do it right. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. I, I, I fucked it up. There we go. Whew. <laughs> Not even close, guys. Zeratul, the master hacker. Just bleep bloop, blop, bleep 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 blop. Oh, I discovered it, guys. I, hey, guys. Why are these rocks breaking? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why, why are they glowing? Wait. What's going on? In case you guys were wondering, this mission can be beaten in, like, 12 minutes but it's just it's not intuitive at all all right guys the hard part's over the next one is uh, no build mission and it should be okay because i killed the observer what 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 oh there's an observer there I'm out. another set of high templar so if those guys aren't gonna pull we're just gonna leave you guys are cool these three scouts specifically you guys are cool. Is collapsing the temple. I must leave now. You, the stalkers are like, you mean we must leave, right? Is there a tool? I think at this point, we're out of time. And we need to just go. So take Zeratul, forget the stalkers. There is no time, Zeratul. Yep, I agree. I, will deal with the I am really pushing it, guys. Not even close. Guys, not even close. Three seconds on the board. Not even close. It's cannon, guys. Our Tannis pylon rushes. Basically, we want to keep as many zealots as possible. I mean, it's honestly one of those things. It's one of those things where we can honestly leave the zealots here. So we're going to use our Colossi to just... We're going to take this nice and slow. There's no reason to rush. So from this, we only get six stalkers. Because we are saving our zealots for the final push. <laughs> so, and then our Colossi boys are gonna pull what they can. I'm trying to get the Banelings. Yep, got the Banelings. God, Immortals are so beefy. <laughs> Immortals are just like, I don't want to die, thank you. We still have all four Colossi, which is huge. Oh shit, the Colossi went down. That's. I had to say something. So now we have a hundred zealots. So we had a hundred zealots. We have 40 zealots. <laughs> that, uh, this final push can be really rough. But first try, took our time, no big deal. Zero Tools looking at Artanis like, yeah, that's what I was trying to tell you, you big fucking idiot. I love how 10 minutes ago, uh, Artanis, or, um, Solendus was like, we need to arrest this dude and probably execute him. But now he's standing alone with the Hierarch himself. All right, sounds good. Growing Shadow, reach the Void Seeker. All right, we failed the, we failed the mission objective. I guess we're done here. No, I don't. You're lying. All right, we can get aggressive again. You're not you when you're hungry.
Zeratul, who's been with us since the beginning, pulling the strings and making sure that the universe doesn't fall apart. First two missions of Legacy of the Void. Oh! An unpowered warp gate? That's such a great idea, Karax. I wish I had thought of that. Every time... Monster just subscribed. It See, this is the one downside of playing StarCraft 2 with uh, StarCraft 2 sound effects for my stream is I heard the the sound, but I'm like, oh, I'm out of gas. And then your message popped up. It was actually you. Oh, when Badger just subscribed. Yes. Stop! Guys, knock it off! Oh, wait, it was plant again. Plant! <laughs> okay. So, this is a hype train. I don't know what happens now, because I've never seen this before, but we are on a hype train. Tommaso, instruct the troops. Tell them what's happening, because I don't know. So we're going to run these guys in, and then hopefully those guys pull enough aggro that these units... There we go. We just hold. Hold it. Stick it. Stick it. Stick it. Stick it, boys. Stick it. We're done. <laughs> Speedrun strats. We should get a scanner sweep right here. Another little cheese you can do uh, is when the scan happens, you can... Uh, that's a nice little cheese that you can do. It's super reliable. You can do it uh, after the first two that you destroy. Meaning that this objective is now crippled because the siege tank line has been bust busted. So my question is, how the hell did they get inside the Imperial Palace? It took Sarah Kerrigan everything in the world to get into that palace. And Mobius Corps is just like, just knocks on the front door. Hello? Omen in your. Omen in your. Are we really out of stuff? That's hysterical. It's alright. We have the boys. So here's the plan. During the disruption, we're gonna let them carve all the way to Jim's base. Another disruption will occur soon. Then we're gonna dive the final objective, kill the last hybrid, and kill the objective. Super oh, no energy. No energy. Idiot. Idiot. Kill the keystone with probes. I mean, she has to understand that this is a reasonable assessment. She is a danger to everyone on the crew. She's effectively a spy. Like, Amon can just look through her eyes and know exactly what Artanis is up to. Hey, you got it, Skippy. Skippy? Skippy. <laughs> Artanis is like, what? What did you just call me? Ignite Psyblade. He's using it as a trap. And that's, if you're gonna blow up the planet, what a way to do it. I love you. How much? I love you. I love you. I need to do a better job at sniping the overseers. The overseers can see my dark templar, which are invisible combat units. Okay, again, sniping overseers to prevent them from seeing my dark templar. It's a lot to remember. I don't know how you do it. Well, I've been playing this game since I was 12, so. You get, get pretty good at it. Don't bark at me. Ooh, the frames, guys. No. Let's try to get the Banelings, because those are really scary. The Banelings, because those are really scary. Cool guys don't look at explosions. Artanis is officially certified cool dude. He just needs the shades. Yeah, exactly. He just <laughs> flips them open, puts them on as he's getting teleported out. Yeah, Rohana is like genuinely so blinded. Her view is so narrow despite the fact that she still experiences all the lives before her. The f she cannot fathom how outmatched the Protoss are currently. Now, you guys see this pylon right here? 
you can hit this pylon with uh, your solar lance ability. Yeah, see how you can see the shadow right there? If you just use all three, the pylon goes down. And you skip half the map. If I recall correctly, we can move up here and just snipe the... Oh, wait. You can just, like, do that, I think. Look at that. Yep, it's right here. That's what I thought. Perfect. Perfect. Break the pylons. And we win. Easy. <laughs> I mean, Zeratul is the reason that anyone was convinced to do anything in the StarCraft 2 games. Zeratul came to Raynor and was like, hey, don't kill the Queen of Blades. That'd be really bad news. And then he went to Kerrigan and was like, hey, become the Queen of Blades. Otherwise, things are going to be really bad. And then he went to <laughs> Artanis and was like, if you go to Ire, everything is going to be fucked. Zeratul out here pulling all the strings. The fuck? Oh, it's here. Run, Archon, run! Literally the only shadowy part on this. Kill it. Not even close, guys. <laughs> this is very... Re it, this mission is very reminiscent of the Death Star. Because, like, it's called Endion. And it's a forest planet. And there's a shield generator planet side protecting a massive synthetic space station like where where have i heard that one before guys look at that damage <laughs> things just evaporate in its wake Ooh, banelings are rough guys <laughs> it's so watching the, just watching the vanguard work is so silly i love how rohan is like the purifiers would act on their own and destroy everything and Artanis is like, nah, it's fine, don't worry about it. The first thing the purifiers do <laughs> is eradicate an entire planet. Spoiler alert. In case you don't know what's about to happen. Contact the purifiers. I would speak to them. They don't want to talk to you. You're a meanie poopy butthole. Have you come to bear I'll just to the Have you come to bear witness to me? <laughs> Just click on it. Just click on it. Just click on it. We're done. I want to go home. We're done. Cool. That was... <laughs> that Viking comes out of left field and just absolutely shreds one of my carriers. Uh, we'll chrono surge out two carriers just to replace the one we lost. Oh, the Banelings killed him! Yeah, look, he can't even one-shot a Zergling. It's for bad. Yeah, see, the Baneling still blows up and hurts him. Even though it wasn't attacking. Hey, that should do it now. I think it was Destruction Wave getting Vision or something. Oh, I'm attacking Vorazun like an idiot! Thank goodness Alarak's auto attack is awful. <laughs> what a beast. <laughs> Alarak and I. I helped. Oh, god damn it, Phoenix. <laughs> you, did you watch Karax just wander into the fray? I'm like trying to micro him back, and he's just like, let me just wander back into here, guys. Did we, we did not lose a single unit, guys. <laughs> Immortals are very good. The Matrix was never meant to be dismantled like this. <laughs> the, the thing we blew up was never designed to be blown up. <laughs> I've always found that line pretty funny. Because it's like, yeah, obviously. We are in no hurry, so we're just going to pull things into us. Charge, destroy everything in our path. The Banelings hurt real bad, but it's fine. Dash into the Hydralisks. Dash into the Hydralisks. Heal, heal, heal. Yep, 
Destroy the rocks. Heal. And we are good. I understand. This genuinely confused me when I played it the first time. I thought my game crashed. But then I saw Artanis ignite his blade and I'm like, what's going on? Well, the full might of what's left. Because <laughs> the full might of the Forceborn would also be the Golden Armada. One thing I love about the final missions of this campaign is it takes elements from In Utter Darkness. Like, the, the line, so was I be your beginning, so shall I be your end, is directly ripped from In Utter Darkness. Like, they had this all planned so far in advance. Like, I... When I heard that voice line the first time, I'm like, that is so good. Tempest are so much fun, guys. <laughs> if you ever ever have the chance to make Tempest, make Tempest. Because they can outrange most bottom units, or um, ground units, bottom units, Jesus, Geo. All right, I think we're doing pretty well. You like the guy with the helmet? Reminds me of Optimus Prime. <laughs> yeah, Death Circles. They're just shooting beams of friendship. <laughs> that poor marine just got obliterated. This is just so slow. All right, time to stop and let's just finish this. I'm saving it. They just respawn so quickly. It's so obnoxious. Good, the game. We need to put Alarak in a pretty little box because Alarak is an idiot. Now, Alarak has great cooldowns, but as a reminder, his side blade is bad. And so we are not going to deal with it. Alarak is so dumb that he can die in the first wave. Just, just so we're very clear. So yeah, our biggest priority is making sure that Karax does not die because we can continue to siphon off of his super powerful speed juice. I don't know if that's intended, but it's absolutely fucking broken. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Alarak is out. Alarak's out. Put, put Alarak back on timeout. Just suck this to make sure that nothing else bad happens. I'm absolutely amazed that uh, Alarak is still alive. GG, guys. Only 15 units lost, and all three Nexuses survived. That's... That's pretty good. Amon lives. His hatred festers in the void. Jim's like, who the and fuck is Amon? <laughs> God, Shadow Cannon is just such a good ability. <laughs> it's so silly. I'm like, why isn't he attacking? I know why he isn't attacking. Because he's stuck on this swarm host. Who's over here? Shit. Jim's Marines are just standing here <laughs> doing nothing. They're just talking. Look at the interceptors. <laughs> just giving Narud a big ol' hug. Cool. Oh, we're so close. Okay. We're just gonna load that last quick save after the Void Thrashers went down. I think we have this. Come on, game. All right, one more try and then we'll go back an actual checkpoint. Come on! We are so fucking close. I don't want to reload a checkpoint just for this. Come on, Geo. All right, what? One more good, solid effort. <laughs> oh. All right, we'll load last checkpoint. See if there's anything else we can do to hold out. So as soon as this checkpoint loads, we need to press one and then kill the thrashers. That's kind of the spot we're in. Because the thrashers um, barely almost kill Kerrigan. I wonder if a single medic <laughs> at Kerrigan's feet is worth it. What is it? Oh, I think my medic is helping because she just lost energy. Sometimes you just need to reset. As cool of a sequence as it is, killing a dark god. I I just I'm not, I wasn't convinced. I wasn't convinced then, and I'm not convinced now that I like this mission.
Because I really don't. And we just let, basically we just let the things auto attack while we heal In indefinitely. Apparently this is the strat. Oh boy. I'm having so much fun holding X while my mutas do infinity damage. I sense Amon's focus has turned to my oh, do you see that MLG teleport? I teleported like three inches. Oh no, I lost a Muta. Uh oh! We're good. Not even close. This is one of those missions where it's like, I really wish we understood what Amon was talking about before the game just like simply ends. Cool. Yep, that's how you beat this mission, apparently. You just hold x i was trying to be cool and like do mac micro and stuff but nope you hold x oh look guys she used quantum ray Hell, it's about time. fun little starcraft fact tychus at the beginning of wings of liberty said the exact same line hell it's about time so it's a nice little bow Brings the entire campaign full circle. James Rayner was never heard from again. His badge was recovered from Joy Ray's bar in Marsara. Kerrigan destroyed him. It was a trap. <laughs> he has become part of the infinite cycle. That is the entirety of uh, Legacy of the Void. Epilogue complete. At long last, Amon is no more. Kerrigan has become Zalnaga and ended the infinite cycle. The denizens of the Caprulu sector now focus on reconstruction recovery making the most of kerrigan's valiant sacrifice empires have fallen worlds have been shattered and gods have been slain through it all brave commanders have led their forces to victory and secured peace and freedom for their people the saga of starcraft 2 has ended thank you for playing it's a nice little wrap up i love this little message yeah 100 percent